Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I actually have a newer diecast that came out a while back. Uh, when I say a while back, I mean like a couple weeks. Um, because it's kind of contradictory. I just said new diecast and then a while back. I meant a couple weeks. Um, but anyway, what this is is Austin Dillon's 2020 autographed uh, race win from Texas. And not a huge Austin Dillon fan. Uh, however, this was actually a good deal on the day that he won it when it was first put up for pre order on uh, RCR's website, Richard Childress Racing. Um, you could get so so if you don't know the standard price for for an ARC like this without the autograph is like fifty five ish dollars and then plus shipping add somewhere between like five or ten dollars so you could spend upwards of like sixty sixty five dollars just for non autographed and then I don't know each cup driver um, prices differently when it comes to autographs so this. With an Austin Dillon autograph, I can't imagine it's super high, but I'm just going to take a guess that might skyrocket it up until like the $70, $80 range. And um, that's what it'd be priced normally. But I got this for straight up $40 because on the day that he won, RCR had a deal. If you pre-order this right as we put it up on the site uh, on the same day, um, we will mark the autographed version at $40 with free shipping. So that's like basically half of what you would pay um, normally for this. So, you know, pretty cool. Um, you can see Bass Pro Shops Texas win autograph 384. And also I should point out, if you don't know, I don't know how many times, if at all, I've actually mentioned this on the channel, but one of my ultimate goals, I don't know if I'll ever actually reach it, is to get uh, autograph diecast from every driver that I've actually seen race in person, as long as they have a diecast, of course, because... I've said I've been to a number of ARCA races now, and there's a lot of those drivers, unfortunately, that are never going to have a die cast. But um, that's the ultimate goal, as close as I can get to it. Um, and this just checks another one off the list. So, and As far as the box, it's a standard box. The only difference is the render, the little hologram I showed you, um, Cup Series 2020 race schedule, which means absolutely nothing. Um, but yeah, let's open it. Uh, I have opened this like I do all of them, and when I was putting stuff back inside, I kind of forgot to just put the wind sticker back in, so that's why that's already sitting there. So, you know, I don't hide the fact that I've already opened it, but at the same time, I kind of want it to be as authentic as possible. Um, but I just forgot about that. We done? Okay. So... And the reason why, the main reason why I unbox it before filming is to do that, just to unscrew it. So there's the car. We'll get to that in a minute. A um, little plastic piece in the corner of the box. Um, let's go through the unimportant stuff. Uh, first, Lionel return form. Sure. Lionel garage. Sure. Now we get to now we start getting into the more interesting stuff. The special autograph edition. It's called Designated Set the Feature Limited Autograph Series 124 scale diecast replica includes the actual signature of Austin Dillon. And uh it, it matches up. So there's that. Actually, let's do the wind sticker first. It's just, you know, sticker. And here's the card, Austin Dillon O'Reilly Auto Parts 500 winner, July 19th, 2020. 3 hours, 38 minutes, 57 seconds, start 21st, uh, 200 laps for 400 miles, 10 cautions for 45 laps. Uh, Austin Dillon apparently led 22 of those and won by a tenth of a second, basically. Um, and there's a little logo. Um, normally, you know, there'd be a few extra pictures, like, I know these are 164, but you can see in the background, like, the, you know, pictures of them in Victory Lane 2020, that wasn't really a thing. Even though they did pose for pictures in Victory Lane with the trophy, they never put them on. So, uh, never put them on these cards. Um, so, it's kind of blank space over here. But in the background, you can see the car after winning. Dylan clinches playoff spot in Texas. And there you can see some of the crew uh, celebrating in Victory Lane. See, they, they do pose, but they just don't put it on the card. 
uh, after multiple restarts and awaiting laps of the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500, Austin Dillon held on to the lead in a green and white checkered finish, uh, giving him the win at Texas North Speedway as well as a spot in the 2020 NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Dillon's Richard Childress Racing teammate Tyler Reddick finished right behind his number three Bass Pro Shops tracker off-road Chevrolet in a runner-up position. Cool, and then you have a little GM logo in the corner as well, and raced version, of course. Uh, so this is actually a little bit... L less I notice. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I don't know what else much you could say about it, but, um, you know, th there's other cards that are a lot more wordy than that one is. It's a, I noticed that the, the font is a little bit bigger on that. So anyway, um, here is the car. I know I always do this out of order. Like every time I do it, I do these things in like a different order, but it's just whatever, how I have, however I think about them. So this one's ARC, so no trunk, but you got the roof flaps. Trying to open the hood. Which is actually not working out that great. Huh, hold on, I'm going to have to pause this, because this actually isn't working out great. Okay, so usually I can push this up with like the pen just like that, but I actually had to take the cap off and use the actual point of the pen to open it. Uh, so anyway, there's your inside. Um, normal ARC engine detail. Anything on the bottom here? Yeah, you have Chevrolet, Lucas Oil, Wix filters. And as you can see, there's the autograph right there. Cup Series banner. Um, a Dillon on the back banner. This is... Do I ever... I think I showed off the amount made. I don't, actually don't think I mentioned it, but I showed it. This is DIN 8 out of what, like 384, was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's an 8. 384. So it's actually kind of high for autograph versions. Because you, you kind of have two different versions of autograph. You have ones, I think, that Plan B do a lot of the times where autograph it after the fact. So the run of it is technically just the standard. Then you have ones that are made specifically in the autographed line from Lionel, like this one. Um, so anyway, uh, you have the shredded up what's this, uh, rear left, left rear tire, shredded up from burnout. You see cut right there, which is it's cool that they started doing that. You know, the, the detail is never super accurate, but at least they started being able to cut what they could. So that's pretty cool. And you see all the dirt and stuff from when the tire did shred. Pretty much surrounding all of that. And you see a little bit up front there too. Um, see some sort of scratching something. Yeah, it's probably just dirt flying and that's the way I hit it. See the dirt in the three there. See dirt all around the front. A um, little bit. Actually not that much on the hood. But in the Bass Pro logo you can see it on the roof. Especially in the white you can see dirt. Some more dirt in the three over here. And some more scratches um all around the side here a little bit there a little bit of an exhaust thing going on right here and then you know a little bit of stuff around the tire is normal and really if it weren't for the blown tire this would be a very clean car of course you would still have you know as the, the dirt there but as far as damage kind of goes you know it's not necessarily from the race itself um as far as damage goes that's pretty much what you got <laughs> that's it um, and then of course you have the Texas shaped confetti as well. First time having a die cast from Texas race wind die cast. Actually, I do have one, but doesn't have confetti on it. The, uh, Biffle truck over there and right here actually too. I have it in both scales. Um, cause I got it originally in 124 when it first released normally. Um, and then later they're like, yeah, it's an authentic. So that's how I ended up with both. I don't know because it was a Texas. I don't know why they didn't have confetti on it. I'm not sure. But a uh, cup car here has confetti. Not only a couple little specks on the hood, uh, some on the windshield, some on the roof. And then it kind of piles up in certain spots. You see it's a little bit around here, B post, a little bit right on the window net. And a little bit piling up right there. But then here on the rear windshield, the left part of it specifically, and the deck lid, it, it just all piles on there. And the left side, you kind of have the same thing, piles up a little bit there. And then the rest of it's pretty clean, actually. Um, another detail, obviously, the front tires do 
rotate if you didn't know. Um, the tires themselves do have detail other than the shredding. See the L3 for number three, the left tire. Um, see that on all of them. See a little bit scratched up Goodyear logos. You know, it was a green white checkered, so I assume they had just pitted recently. So these tires aren't too worn. So they do look pretty clean still, but you know, there are some where it's like completely off and really scratched up with the Goodyear logo. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much all the race stuff, I guess. Actually, you can see the wind sticker there if you want as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the race stuff. Um, let's get on to the uh, paint scheme itself, I guess. So it's the Bass Pro Shops paint scheme. First time I have gotten this paint scheme. Um, I do have a Bass Pro car for Austin Dillon, um, as well as that gold one, as well as, where is it? That one, the one where it's part gold from Daytona a few years ago from RCRS 50th anniversary. But anyway, I'd say the main color in this is the black. Um, and then other colors, you, you got the gray all around the front, kind of just going along the bottom here. And then it kind of curves for the number three and then goes back up kind of where it was. And then ends right at the quarter panel here. It's not really on the back. You do have a little bit of white scratching on the back, I noticed. I wonder if that's where he got bumped by someone. Um, I have a little camera there too. Um, and then the orange, there's just an orange line above that gray. As you can see, it kind of thins out actually when it hits the three and it goes back up and yeah, same thing goes to quarter panel. And you have more orange up here in the A post, NASCAR salutes logo, by the way. Um, it's pretty much the entirety of the A post. Then it kind of stops right there, kind of thins out and stops kind of underneath the American flag there. Um, and then the whole roof is in orange and the entire deck lid is in orange. And I assume that's still part of the deck lid, but, uh, it looks like you can still see the orange from the back of the car. Um, all the number, I don't know if it's all the numbers. I, okay. I guess they're slightly different. The uh, side number is white with an orange and kind of a tannish outline. If you can see that, and then the roof number is, um, just white with a black outline you can actually see a roof hatch decal there as well sponsors bass pro shops tracker off-road um tracker off-road rig up dow american ethanol simbacourt the real tree uh easy go freightliner lucas oil sharon williams coca-cola you see twitter austin Dillon and his logo then the american flag um okuma uh, Bass Pro Stops, Tracker Off-Road, Easy Go on the deck lid, and BassPro.com on the roof. So anyway, as I said, not the biggest Austin Dillon fan. Um, not the greatest race either, but it is an addition. And as I said, uh, it's plus one to my ultimate goal of getting as many driver autographs as I can that I have seen race in person on a diecast like this. So, um, yeah. That it's uh, it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all later.